back my name is mark this is 2000 hours of banjo that was cripple creek starting out with cripple creek backup and then doing the lead uh, i decided to start the video with that particular song just to show you guys that i am working on my speed drills trying to bring up the speed on basically the the older material that being cripple creek being the one that i'm probably the fastest at this was uh 165 quarter beats per minute uh, on a good day, I could push 175, today 165, maybe 170. I think earlier I hit 170, but uh, for this, I, <laughs> I did do a couple of tries at the beginning at 170 and I knocked down the 165 to, to start this video with. Um, for the other songs, Boy Than Cabbage Down is arguably a simpler song until I added the, the movement of the right hand, which has slowed me down. Uh, quite a bit. That said, I can probably, uh, again, after some warm up, do it at, a, at around 140 beats per minute. Um, which other ones? Cumberland Gap has that big jump, so that slows me down, but I can hit 150 with that one. Um, will the circle be unbroken? 140. And once I get to 150, that one falls apart. But 140 is really good. What I'm trying to say is a, a lot of these speeds, and I, I, I would, I guess I can try to demonstrate some of them a little bit later, but um, what's really interesting is even though I do speed drills occasionally, I probably don't do them as much as my instructor would like me to do them, yet I'm getting dramatically faster than I was like four months ago, five months ago, six months ago. It seems, it seems not that long ago that I was really struggling to hit 150 beats per minute with Cripple Creek, and now I can do 165 pretty routine, pretty, um, pretty good, uh, with pretty good confidence, and then 170, 175 pushing it. So it's really interesting to see that even though I'm not necessarily practicing my speed drills as much as I should, I am, I am getting faster just by dint of playing, by practicing. Um, so maybe it's true that if you can play slow, was it? Uh, <laughs> Slowest moves, smooth as fast, whatever it is. I kind of hate that maxim. Um, it's, it's a bit of a pet peeve of mine. S slow is, yeah, you can, you play slow so you can play smooth, and but fast does not ca come from that. Eventually you have to play faster. I, I'm not exactly sure what the uh, slowest moves, smooth as fast is supposed to say. I never understood it. To me, it just, sounded counterintuitive slow is smooth and then eventually y your slower becomes a little bit faster and you're still smooth and then your slower becomes a bit more faster or you're slow i should say and what i mean by that is when i like for example my warm-up i i play really slow warm-up to make sure that i you know get the notes right but the speed that i'm warming up at is slowly getting faster and faster and faster. Um, so it, it's not necessarily that slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Slow is smooth and gradually your slow comparatively gets faster and faster than, than what you were before. So there's other maxims that I really hate and I'll probably do a little video on that uh, sometime in the future. Uh, some I actually really like and some are just god awful like that one. I don't like that one. All right, uh, I have been working on my Foggy Mountain Breakdown and I have been working on new song, Wayfaring Stranger. I just started working on that, I want to say a week and a week or a week and a half ago. So let me go ahead and give you a demo on um, 
Foggy Mountain Breakdown. So I do have the song just about down. Um, there was there was a part there that I paused a little bit because I forgot where I was going. But I do, for the most part, I've got a good 90, 95% of that song down. I just need to work on the technique, smoothing it out, particularly the hammer on. I'm still struggling to get the hammer on to land right behind the fret. When I've been warming up, occasionally I can get there, like with low frequency, I can, ugh. It, it's tricky though, um, but working on it. Eventually it'll get there, right? And then uh, Wayfaring Stranger. Now this is really no, so I don't know if I'll be able to get the whole song down, but let me give it a crack. I really, really like this song. F chord. Just the coolest part of the song. <laughs> that part is so cool. I don't know exactly how it ends. That the last measure I think I, I got wrong. And the timing is way off because I'm I have to pause to figure out where to go next. But there are some there are just some beautiful parts. This is uh this is gonna be uh, Mike Heading's arrangement. You can go to his website and pass the paywall. Uh, you can you can buy this arrangement, um, which I did, and it's 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 a beautiful arrangement. Uh, I'll link the video where he demos and does, uh, you know, teaches the first couple of lines of, of it, but. Oh, just really cool. <laughs> really cool. All right, um, what else is going on? Um, I think, Honestly, that's about it. I could, let me just demo a couple other songs at speed to see, uh, show you where I'm at. Yeah, 
Every once in a while this happens, I just forget the song. I've forgotten the song. I'll, I'll take that off, go real slow. It's it's crazy how the brain works. It was just like out of nowhere, just dump some memory, and then you then you got to go search for it. Let me see if I could do it at speed, or if, or I'll have to build it up again. But this is how practice goes. Like you have these challenges. Shut that up for a bit. You actually have these challenges, and this is this is the part where it gets really really frustrating at times. It's like I know I know this song. I've been playing it for almost a damn year. How come all of a sudden I forget it? Could it be the lights and the cameras rolling? Yeah, maybe, that's probably part of it. But it doesn't change that, it's very, very frustrating. Like eventually, yeah, I do wanna be on the stage. I practice standing up, right? So that I can be on a stage. I actually even practice, while I'm walking around the house, I will practice playing just so I can, you know, emulate what it'll be like walking around on the stage with, with my banjo while playing. But you get these points where you just forget the song and it gives me a lot of fear and anxiety. Like, is that gonna happen on the stage one of these days? Which is, you know, part of the excitement, I suppose. But um, it, it is that frustrating part and you just have to realize, like I've, I've come to realize that this just happens. If you're practicing, if you're a beginner and you have these just like brain farts where it's just like all of a sudden the song is gone, it's not just you, it, ha it happens to me. It probably happens to other people as well. So don't worry about it. Don't get too frustrated about it. So it, 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 it just happens. Let's, let's see if I can even do this at this point because I've talked it up so much. timing was off in the first half and then my tone kind of went crazy at, towards the end of the second half but I remember the song so I'm going to give myself a pat on the back and you should too if that happens to you don't worry about it just kind of work through it and get it back or you know take a break and come back to it stuff like this really happens this is this is the organic process of learning music and learning the songs and learning anything I would imagine so what else can we try we'll try one more um, you know, <laughs> let's go ahead and try Man of Constant Sorrow because that one's been giving me problems too. I'm going to slow this down to 100 beats per minute. Um, that was 130, by the way, for uh, uh, Will the Circle Be Unbroken. Distracted by the, the timer. Let me just do it without the timer.
and give that one more go. Um, more of these just escaping the mind. I've been playing this one a lot today. All right, that's super annoying, and this is gonna happen, especially with banjo. You're gonna catch the pick on the inside, and it's gonna feel like you're trying to pull, the, the string's trying to pull the pick off. Oh my gosh, that's been happening to me so much lately. so messy. I don't know what's happening. Thumb, third string. You can do this. <laughs> One more try. gonna give up at this point because I'm just torturing you guys. It's messy. Learning is messy. You're gonna mess up. You're gonna mess up in front of friends. You're gonna mess up on, on YouTube for the, you know, <laughs> couple hundred maybe views that this will get. But it's okay. Just laugh it off. It's all part of the process. Thank you guys for tuning in. I've obviously got practice to do, so I will see you next time. Bye.